going through that are meant to make you stronger. In verse 3, the scripture instructs us to rejoice, to celebrate, and even praise God when we face trials. Because those trials are actually good for us. They teach us life lessons. Have you ever gone through something and it hurt going through, but you learned something from it? I don't know about you, but it happens to me all the time that, that I, I, I have to go through some, but I learn some things. Life tests, life lessons, they, they teach us lessons in life, the trials of this life. Now, this takes faith. So, so we will look at the life of a, a man who went through some things to try to help this scripture make some sense to it. Let's, let's look at the life of Joseph. To help some of us see how trouble can work to our good. In the, in the book of Genesis. In the book of Genesis, we see Joseph experiencing mountains and valleys. We, we, we see Joseph experiencing peaks and, and plains. But the previous scripture implies that all of that will actually work out for Joseph's good. In Genesis chapter 37, we, we see Joseph's dad. We see Joseph's dad esteeming him while he was dreaming and, and his brothers were, were scheming. In 37, 1 through 4, look, 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 pull that up for me. I don't want y'all to think I'm lying to you. And In and, and, and 37, 1 through 4, it shows us that. It says, so Joseph settled again in the land of Canaan where his father had lived as a foreigner. And then it goes on and says, this is the account of Jacob, of Jacob and his family. It says, when Joseph was 17 years old, he often tended his father's flock. He, he worked for, for his half-brothers and, and the sons of his father's wives, Bilhah and Zilpah. But Joseph reported to his father some of the bad things his brothers were doing. And then the scripture says, Jacob loved Joseph. This is the esteem. Jacob loved Joseph more than any of his other children because Joseph had been born to him in his old age. You see, his, his, his father, while his father is esteeming him, and, and there's some folk that we'll have in our life that they'll constantly lift us up. They'll constantly tell us how good we are. They'll constantly tell us how much potential we have. But while his dad was esteeming him, Let's see what Joseph did. In, in 5 through 11, the Bible says that he was dreaming. Take me through to, to verses 5 through 11. His dad was esteeming him. Pa parents and, and, and adults that are in children's life, if you lift them up, they'll dream. If you tell them that they're special, they'll dream. They'll begin to dream that they could do things that, that you never even come close to doing. That's what it ought to be about. Now, the generations behind us ought to go higher than we went. And, and if we lift them up, they'll dream. His dad lifted him up. His dad esteemed him. And watch what he did. It says, one night Joseph had a dream. It says in that dream, and, and when he told his brothers about it, they, they hated him more than ever. He, he had a dream. because, And I believe that he was able to dream because his father esteemed him and we all know the dream all the things that God said that that would happen to him his dad was esteeming him and Joseph was dreaming while his father was esteeming but you know what there's some folk in our lives as much as folk tell us that we're special and as much as folk as much as folk esteem us and, and, and cause us to dream there are some haters in our lives and those haters sometimes are right next to us in our own house. They're close to us. And it's like, while his daddy was esteeming and Joseph was dreaming, verses 12 through 36 said his brothers were scheming. Look at 12 through 36. It says, soon after this, Joseph's brother went to, the, went to pasture their father's flock at Shechem. And then it goes on and the scripture says in, in verse 13, it, it says, it says, when they had been gone for some time, Jacob said to Joseph, your brothers are pasturing the, the sheep at Shechem. Get ready, and I will send you to them. I'm nearly, I, I can't read the bottom of it, but keep going to the next verse for me. And, and the next verse says, go and see how your brothers and the flocks are getting along. Jacob said, then come back and, and bring me a report. So Jacob sent him on his way, and Joseph traveled to Shechem from, from their home in the valley of Hebron. And, and it goes on, and it says in, in, the, next, in the next verse, the scripture says, 
When he arrived there, a man from the area noticed him wandering around the countryside. What are you looking for, he asked. And he goes on, the scripture goes on, and, and the scripture says in verse 16, the scripture says, I, I'm looking for my brothers, Joseph replied. Do you know where they are, They're where they are pasturing their sheep? And in verse 17, the, the scripture goes on to say, yes, the man told them they, they have moved on from here. But I heard them say, let's go on to Dothan. So Joseph followed his brothers to Dothan and found them there. It says, when Joseph's brothers saw him coming, they recognized him at a distance. As he approached, they made plans to kill him. His father was esteeming, which caused Joseph to be in a place to where he was dreaming. But the Bible says while his father was esteeming and Joseph was dreaming, the folk closest to him were scheming. Don't, 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 don't give up on life because folk that should have supported you are scheming against you. Don't, don't give up on life because folk that should have had your back and should have pushed you to go higher, they, they're scheming again. Don't, don't get, it, 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 it happens to the best of us. And here in this story, we 